are out today working with their cattle and Ginger is not having a single bit of it because what they don't know is that the cattle are actually Ginger's and not theirs. Hello everyone. Okay, so I am officially 43. 43. When you turn 43, you start having products. I think I should have started this earlier because I definitely have the sun wrinkles and when I laugh, my nose does this. Awesome, I don't mind aging, but I don't wanna speed the aging process up when there are some things that I can do. I am just gonna show you I had actually seen one of my design clients and I thought this lady was in her like 30s because she looked, I mean, wrinkle free, like so vibrant. She was my age or very close. So after I left, she sent me the message with all this stuff that she had actually purchased to put on her face. So I have a very, very sensitive face. I have uh, the last facial I got, my face was just beet red and that's with sensitive products. So the list that my client had given me was pretty long and it's like a morning routine, a night routine, and I'm so grateful she sent that to me, but I'm going to have to, to like step it to see what it is because if my face breaks out all at once, I need to know what it is. Not that I have a ton of new products on and then have to go through that process. So I started with the Glow Recipe. This is at Sephora. And this brightens your face. It's a highlighting serum. So the big one, which look at this bottle. This is so pretty too. But the big one goes all over your face. And the little one goes only on like your eyes around your eye area. So you don't put the big one around your eye area. You put this one on. But this is the Glow Recipe Brightening Eye Gel Cream. So I put these on in the morning and... I'm like day three. I have been putting on the vitamin C, which is a brightening as well. So apparently I want my face bright. So I'm putting the vitamin C on first and then I'll put the watermelon on, the big one, and then I'll put the small one on. And then after that, I use my Pond's Moisturizer, guys. <laughs> I've been using this for years. Um, and then I'm now doing an SPF 30 every day. I do live in Texas. I do need to do that. So let's get started. This vitamin C, you're also supposed to wait like a minute after you put it on for it to sink in. And as you notice, I'm not getting my eye area. Um, but it also says to put this on your neck. Okay, so I'm gonna let this all soak in. And I go very light on, do you see that? Thank goodness the lid was on, that would have been, I just got this shirt, it's from Nashville. My husband flew through there and Nashville is on my bucket list. I want to go, I'm obsessed with country music. So I wanna to go to Nashville, I wanna to go to Bluebird Cafe. Um, I think that's a real place. If not, I've been duped by Nashville the show. But I wanna go there, I wanna go see just, all the live music. I'm sure they're all incredible there. So want to do that. But I'm letting that soak in the vitamin C again. And I think this is vitamin C brightening serum. I got this one at Target, I think. And it's Art Naturals version of it. Okay, so now I'm going to put on that glow recipe. And this only takes, this one's thicker. So the vitamin C gel is not as thick as this watermelon one. But again, don't put this in your eye area. There's another one for the eye area. But I have noticed immediately this glow recipe. I really like it. A, I like the smell. And B, I do think it makes me brighter immediately. Can y'all see that? It's just, it does make you brighter. And I like that. It feels more youthful. Um, even with the wrinkles, I'm brighter. Okay, so 
Now I'm gonna wash my hands because I don't wanna mix that around my eyes. And then I'm gonna do the eye line and then we're just gonna let that sit before we do the pawns and then top it off with the uh, SPF for shield. So this again is that, there's the glow recipe. This is the, the little one goes around your eyes. That's what it looks like. Um, yesterday, I think I put too much on because it was kind of sticky. So this is all trial and error at this point, but I'm kind of excited. I do like the glow. I went out yesterday, actually the last two days, my daughter has complimented my skin um, and I didn't have any makeup on. I just had all these serums on. Fortunately, I put too much on. Um, so just get a really small amount of that. And I'm gonna let that soak in. At 43 so far is like, just do some stuff for yourself. Just take those mornings. Um, I've actually started reading my devotional in the morning again. Um, just those small moments and then get to work. So after this, I will start work. Um, I have to make some calls today and I'm designing, um, it's like a sunroom, but it's also a sitting room. Uh, so this is just the pawns, but I am designing, we picked the chairs out. I just need to find a rug and a table, like a, a round table. We're just going to do the four chairs. This is for a client. She's got the living room right there, the dining room and kitchen with bar stools. So the sunroom really needed to just have like four chairs and a, a table. So more for conversation and her kitchen looks into it. It is honestly beautiful. Um, what they have going on over there. And we're just kind of getting her house ready. She's going to sell here um, this summer. So we're doing some small renovations and a little bit of decorating slash staging. Um, so it's coming together beautifully. Excited for that. The vanity that we're working on is actually being built as we speak. And it's going to be two towers and a six foot dual sink there, vanity, with the two tall towers on the side. Client did not want them to go to the ceiling, so they're going up about 80 inches on both sides. And then she's getting the bathroom remodeled, and it's going to be beautiful. We picked out the tile for the shower. It's going to be very spa-like and relaxing. And that is what she's doing. It's, it's going to be beautiful. I cannot wait to see the outcome. They are just getting started on the sunroom today, getting the glass and stuff. So I'll be designing the sunroom furniture now. And then the bathroom is, um, there. she's working with the contractor already. So all that stuff's selected. So exciting news. That, that'll be a beautiful change. Um, I have some photos from before. So I'll show you guys the after as well. And we're just letting this soak in. So I'm gonna do that and then I have a huge shoe dilemma, ladies and gentlemen. I need new tennis shoes. So I am the designer in jeans. Anyone wonders why I'm always in gym shoes? I wear gym shoes because I have bad knees. Um, I have arthritis in both knees, so I end up hurting if I wear anything else. I can wear cowboy boots, you know, here and there, especially go dancing. Um, but for like everyday wear, can't do the high heels, can't do the flat shoes. I have to have like some gym shoe and I have to switch them out quite often actually because of as soon as they go flat, then my, you know, knees and back start hurting. So um, we are going to go find, I need a white pair, a black pair, because I do wear nicer tops for clients. So I wear a nice top necklace. I tried to fix my hair. Um, still loving the braided curls. Those, man, those are good. Um, so I'm doing, I do my hair, my makeup, and then, uh, usually like some necklaces and then a nice top. And then I just wear jeans and gym shoes and I can pull it off. It looks cute to me. Um, but that is why I'm always kind of casually dressed. Um, but we're gonna go out and solve that and I may get myself 
another pair of dancing boots because I go dancing enough now that I think two pairs would be good because the one is already kind of starting to get worn down. So I might get myself another pair of boots. So I'll take you guys shopping for that as well. And I have a return to a store if I can find my retreat. I bought some jeans and we went in and it closed at like five, I think. And we were there at like 4.30. So they were cleaning and they were not all about me trying stuff on. I didn't ask, but you could tell they were like cleaning the rooms and stuff, ready to get out of there. So I didn't try anything on. And I bought a pair of pants that I never would have purchased. They do not look right at all. Even my daughter was like, what is that? So got to return those. But also this is at the beach Bath and Body Works. This is the brand, I don't know if you can see, at the beach. It's a really pretty bottle too. Um, this is what I'm using now. It's got kind of like a coconut smell and I love summer and the smell of like, you know, um, suntan lotion. That's like, I think it's Hawaiian Tropic, that, that um, coconut, mm, it is so good. So now our face is totally prepped. I will give you a close up of it. All right, so here is the close up. My face, see the shine off the light there. It is a very overcast day. Dog wants out. So it is a very overcast day. So I think we're gonna run our errands first and then come back and do the client's work. So we don't get drenched. So let's head out. Before we leave, I have to show you this. My friends are awesome. I got this cool organic mushroom grow kit. I am so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to do this this weekend. But you literally can grow mushrooms. It's like the entire kit. You grow mushrooms out of here. And then my friend said just add butter, salt, pepper, and garlic. And she said they're amazing. So, And it grows twice in there. But how cool is that? So it's such a cool gift. Um, I got this really cool pot. I ended up with some really nice stuff. Look at this. These are, she said she got this at Target and it comes as a set of three. Isn't that so pretty? And then they just put a piece of ivy in there. I am loving it. But I also got this dining on a dime cookbook and it's gluten-free and dairy-free. So if you struggle like I do, or even if you just choose to do this, the gluten-free dairy-free edition, this, things you don't have if you're gluten and dairy-free, sourdough bread starter. So when I was on TikTok, which I haven't been in a while, I haven't been watching reels, I used to see people do sourdough starters. This tells you how to feed it and all that stuff. And then how to make the bread. So I am really, really excited. I made it to the car and the wind is crazy. We're getting another cold front. I will tell you, I single-handedly brought this cold front on because I just packed up all of our cold weather stuff on like Monday, I think it was. So every year I do this. I'm like, oh, 80, 80, 80, 80, we're good. And then I pack it up and it's cold. And we're headed to the rodeo on Saturday, a date night, to see Brad Paisley. And the weather has been incredible until the day we're going. The high is like 54 and the low is 44. I know to some of you that's like a heat wave here, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> going great but then it got even better I am going to see Chris Stapleton which I cannot wait he has been on my list I cannot wait I'm been hoping I get called up on stage to just slaughter Tennessee whiskey with him um going to the rodeo and to see Chris Stapleton Woo! all right I'm bringing y'all along makeup this was done by my very talented daughter. She makes me look young. I showed you serums today. 
I don't think they work this fast. This is jazzy. So, ta-da! And here's my outfit. I did shoot a little video of this um, in front of the mirror. So, I'll show you. But, guys, guys, we're headed to see Chris Stapleton. What, what? All right, see you there. Yeah.